from Illinois. Mr. Chairman, I rise in support of my amendment. Secretary Buttigieg and President Biden's DEI initiatives, which hire and promote people based on their physical characteristics over their merits and qualifications, violate Title VII and the Constitution. In critical public safety roles, such as air traffic control, it is essential to have the best possible candidate based strictly on professional qualifications and merit. Efforts by the Biden administration to factor race, gender, and sexual orientation into hiring and promotion decisions puts the traveling public at risk and deepens the staffing shortages we've seen throughout the FAA. Under this administration, we saw the first national ground stoppage since September 11th. My constituents regularly face delays caused by shortages in air traffic control staffing, delays that I'm sure many of my colleagues have also experienced. We must roll back the Biden administration's woke DEI policies and put the needs of our public aviation system before the far left's political agenda. I urge the adoption of my amendment and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from Illinois reserves. For what purposes the gentleman from Tennessee seek recognition? Claim time in opposition. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I would say that uh, this amendment, which prohibits funds from this act being used to hire any diversity, equity, and inclusion officials or conduct DEI training, is unnecessary, inappropriate, and a, and a failing of our system. Uh, it's interesting that it follows the amendment that would look into and suggest that Secretary Buttigieg has done something wrong. As our nation works toward long-term economic recovery, it's critical the educational and career opportunities in the aerospace industry be available and accessible to all Americans. It doesn't say that people who aren't the most qualified would get hired. DEI just says people with, have opportunities which they may not have had in the past, and there might be systems in place that do not allow people who are diverse, who are need to be included, inclusive, gives them the opportunity, and equitably get a job, be, get the job beca just because of their appearance, it means that they don't get discriminated against. The U.S. aerospace industry is taking initial steps to diversify its workforce through the creation of flight training academies, apprenticeships, and other career pathway programs, but more can be done. The underlying bill robustly invests in the FAA's aviation workforce development programs to support the education and recruitment of aviation jobs including for communities underrepresented in the aviation industry. I represent District 9 in Tennessee, which is a minority majority district. A lot of minorities are not in aviation jobs. They can perform those jobs and do great jobs. They just haven't been given the opportunity over the years. And they need to have opportunities to see that this is a place that they can look to to be a pilot and to earn a good living and, and to have a good job. DEI programs would help. This amendment ties the hands of the FAA and its outgoing educational recruiting and retention plans by prohibiting the hiring of a DEI officer or conducting DEI training, regardless of whether the FAA believes that this will result in the best possible results for the aviation workforce. Again, I oppose this amendment, urge a no vote, and hope that all Americans can have an opportunity to get good paying jobs. I reserve the time, my time. Gentleman reserves time. Gentleman from Illinois is recognized. I urge the adoption of my amendment, and I yield back. The gentleman, gentle lady from Illinois yields. The gentleman from Tennessee is recognized. I would just continue to urge a no vote. You don't have to be woke. You just don't have to be asleep. So the gentleman